Welcome to another edition of Billy Juice Figure Review. Today we review Autobot Hound Voyager Class from the new Transformers movie that was at, out, uh, that's been out since June. Okay, let's qu quickly take a look at his packaging. It says Transformers. Picture of Hound. Pretty nice. The Transformers 4 logo. Autobot Hound. Hasbro. Autobot Hope logo on there, and then there's a background, scenic background for Hound. This is Transformer Generations Voyager class. This is a series, series, and he's number three in the series. This is Transformers Autobot logo, Autobot logo, and there's a picture of Hound. It's robot mode and is trucky thingy mode also available as Galvatron changes in 14 steps and it says all about hound might be only <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that it says all about hound might be only a single soldier but he prides himself on being able to do the jobs of 10 heavily armored he isn't about to back down from an all-out firefight if it comes, if one comes his way. To Hound, it's all in the line of duty. And then, and, and there's nothing really on the bottom. It says this, except it says authentic transformers. Other than that, let's crack him open and give him his proper review. And we are back with him out of his packaging. And this guy has pretty much a lot of darn accessories. First of all, let me just do this. So, he comes with these two guns. Practically the same thing. Pretty nice. So he, has, he comes with these two mini guns. This is one of the best characters in the movie. If you haven't seen it yet, oh, see it when it comes out on DVD. This is one of the best characters of the whole movie. Pretty nice. Nice detail they have on there. And then these two big ones. My goodness, this guy's worse than the army. It's like one man army. Crud. You don't want to hire a bunch of guys, just hire this dude. This guy has enough ammunitions and guns for World War Three. Anyways, these are pretty nice, pretty detailed. I'm not going to hold them next to each other because you both, I'm pretty sure you guys all know it's the same gun. So anyways, pretty nice. Nicely detailed. I don't care that it's not really painted that much, but it's a nicely detailed uh, gun. And he comes with a knife. His last resort after he runs out of ammo. Which is, I don't think he actually has to use his last resort. Unless the guy has a force field or something. But I don't think he will be able, he won't be needing the last resort to be honest. Then he comes with two more little guns. These are nice. Again, these can connect to a bigger gun. And so can these. So yeah, these are pretty nice, these connecting guns. So yeah, these are nicely detailed. Not really painted, but nicely detailed. Yeah, this guy comes with enough, a huge bunch of guns. Okay, uh, what the heck is this? Ooh. So yeah, wow, this is pretty... Okay, this one has an action to it. <laughs> okay, this is nice, nice action to it. You can go from... Two, two there, and one on the side, two. How the heck did I do it now? 
anyways, to three in a row. That's pretty nice. It's a pretty huge gun as well. Oh. It's a pretty huge gun. Nice. Nicely detailed like the others. Lacking paint, paint applications, but who cares? This is a pretty nice gun anyways. Mm. That is cool. Okay. Put all, put all those darn weapons on the side there. There's like a mini Fort Knox, this guy. He has a paint app. His uh, head scan's pretty nice. Looks pretty accurate to hound. Absolutely accurate to hound. Absolutely. The only thing he's missing is the cigar. But of course, Hasbro won't be putting that in the kid's toy. Although this is supposed to be targeted at an adult audience, they're still thinking about the kids. Of course, they'll never stop thinking about kids. Because they're a toy company. Anyways, has his little audible logo on his stomach there. Yeah, doesn't really look movie accurate, but eh, it mostly does. Like the little details they put on there. All these rounds on it are all over his arm. These are all bullet rounds. Not, that's not actually his arm. I think his whole arm's made of bullet rounds. That's pretty sweet. Then he has these big ones right there, nicely painted. Like the paint applications on these big bullets. That is just sweet. Again there with big bullets, nicely painted. Uh, not too big on this backpack thing. But that's for his transformation. Yeah, it's nicely detailed. Okay, and quickly show you his articulation. His head goes side to side. And, oop. Okay. Is um. Okay, well, I'll keep his head loose because I'm going to be transforming him in a few minutes. Let's go. Anyways, his arms go that far out. And. All the way down, all the way around. There's a, okay, he has an ab crunch. But I think that's because of the transformation. Waist swivel. Lace can go that far out. Double joint, single jointed knee. And an ankle pivot. He has an ankle pivot. And, oh, and a leg swivel. So yeah, that's some pretty decent... Oh, I forgot about his shoulder bend. He's an also single jointed elbow. And I think that's all. Okay, with that being said, I'll be back with his a fully transformed hound. And we are back with it being in a uh, beagle mode. Quickly show you how it is. Completely armed. Looks pretty awesome when it's completely armed. Yeah, so yeah. I'll take those off there. Getting annoying as heck. Oh, also, I forgot to mention. Figure also comes with the instructions. So if you don't know how to build a transformer, you just read this. Probably uh, quickly show you his ultimate weapon transformation real quick as well. Have to transform his weapons. Okay, quickly show you his. And we're back here. Finally found that piece. And look at this huge, huge. This is when all the weapons are combined and transformed into his 
huge mega weapon. It is huge. My goodness. Freaking kill anything in its way. My goodness. Looks like one of them. Pretty sweet. Anyways, take a quick look at the robot mode. Pretty sweet. Uh, I think, is there open? Can these doors open? Uh, no, the doors can. Okay. You have these awesome windows, nice and clear. No black, no blue windows, no yellow windows, no red windows. Just normal windows. That's pretty sweet. I like the way these are. Okay, it kind of makes them look angry. Nice. This is nicely detailed. It has both Autobot. Logos on the side here. Nicely detailed. And then you can also. So it does that pretty decently. Like the little details on the pipes here. And spare tire in the back. Nice. Like. I just like this paint detail and the sculpt. Paint applications are nice on this thing. Looks really movie accurate and has perfect movie colors and like the Dinobots. Most of the all the Dinobots appear in the movie are completely different. And I think in one of these things. You can do that. I think that. I think that actually looks pretty good. I think that looks freaking dangerous and killer. Don't care what anyone else thinks, but that's one heck of a damn vehicle now. It's not one of the ones you carjack. Other than that, it's a nicely detailed figure. Oopsie. Nice. Nice. <sighs> gotta, constantly gotta fix the this damn truck. Anyways. So, is this the figure to get? Yes. Unlike Galvatron, Galvatron, the other figure in the set, Galvatron is an easy pass for anyone. Um, this one isn't. This one's way better. It's better details, more, more weapons than any of the people in the series. And he's an awesome character in the movie. Probably better than Dinobots because they only appeared five seconds, and all they went was roar, and were mostly used as vehicles. Anyways. Um, if you're a fan of Hound, this, you know what, you don't have to be really a fan of Hound. This one's, this figure's awesome, greatly detailed, awesome weapons, sculpt is amazing, and pretty much the best, uh, Voyager class one I've, I've reviewed so far. I still have to review, uh, Grimlock. Probably thinking about getting uh, Optimus Prime. Still got to review, review Grimlock. Maybe get prompt Optimus Prime. But so far, he's the overall favorite of all the Transformers I've reviewed. But I still got still got to review quite a few of them. So my opinion might change. But so far, best. Uh, Transformer movie figurine is Hound. With that being said, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next edition of Billy's Figure Views.